project is a non-profit foundation about visual art and photography. If you want to help us, just drop a donation on buymeacoffee.com slash Berlin Explorer. So uh, today, I'm. Uh, this is the first 15 minutes uh, uh, of experience podcast of Berlin Explorer. In this case, Berlin Explorer is uh, going to have this evolution and being uh, BX because um, what we want to focus about is uh, the experience we have in photography and uh, not only that is about photography. And today I'm with uh, Jagoda Cier- Ciernak and uh, she takes a uh, picture uh, since five years or more. And uh, in the same time she work as an urban artist in creating the street art project uh, and uh, she has a dual collective uh, call mods but uh, i want to give the microphone to her and uh, she can tell us more about what she do and then we can talk about this experience she had in one of uh, her pictures Thank you very much and thank you so much for uh, what you are doing uh, for all your projects. Uh, it's really beautiful and I feel really honored to be invited. I'm really, really happy. Um, and uh, and yes, I, I, I'm very happy that we can talk about the photography because actually um, I realized before we started to talk that uh, I take photos. Uh, I talk about uh, about many moments that I'm photographing, but uh, I, I think I never talk so much about uh, about all my approach to photography and uh, how it's a part of uh, how it became a part of my life and uh, how all those things uh, around are getting part of not only um, that are getting part of the, my creative creative life. So I'm very happy to participate and to talk with you. So tell me a bit uh, about uh, what you think is uh, you come from in photography and what uh, do you mean uh, uh, to use photography as a tool of uh, define your life? I don't know. Actually, I have very... Uh intuitive approach to photography. I am, um, I, I, I feel that the photos that they just come, that, uh, that when I look, I, uh, I realize that I have this 15 millimeters uh, lens all the time and um, that the, the, the captures, they just appear. And uh, photography for me, it's very uh, something Spontaneous. Of course, I have organized projects that they, they, they happen, uh, but the photos that um, that I'm the most happy of that they come from the um, from the second from the moment from what what, what I see. Um, I'm I think I'm not very good at huge arrangements of the photography. Like this is not my not so much my thing. I'm impatient, so I like when the things they just pop out. Um, so even the, pro- the, the the project, like the biggest project I um, in photography that 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 uh, I make, and it was with duo with with Diogo that we have this uh, street art uh, duo mods that I'm a part of it. That it was photography urban project in Berlin that we did, um, and uh, I was taking photos of the people living in Berlin of the Berliners and we were asking them about the uh, objects that we feel any kind of attachment to. So this was this this was the long term uh, the only long term project that I that I really um, completed because I, I I think I struggle a little bit with um, with with uh, long term stuff. I really uh, I'm really impatient to capture something which is now and the things happening so I, I don't know, like um, yeah I see I, I don't know I see this corner I need to take a photo 
but then I see um, some other light and it sometimes maybe for someone from the outside has nothing to do but for me there's a lot of this kind of sensibility that I'm catching and it's very like sometimes I think maybe chaotic um, but yeah but this is my approach to to the daily photography but with the long-term photography maybe I'll finish about this objective project that uh, I was saying that we were photographing photos of them, of the Berliners, the people that they visited in Berlin, and they were sharing the objects with us. Um, I was taking the photos with the, my old camera, with Zorki 4 it's, a, it, it's, a, it's a Soviet copy of, of Leica, and uh, I got this camera from my grandpa. And I also was taking with digital, because also I couldn't decide, because also I was I was impatient for the analog photography, so I just in case I had two cameras, because I didn't know. I, I, because I, I, I cannot plan so much. Um, so yeah, we were taking photos, and um, then from the objects that we collected from people that I met in Berlin, that the people that they shared with us, uh, we created a mural. So some of those objects, they appeared in Spanda on the, on the wall. And uh, Diogo painted some canvas um, from the objects of the people. Um, but also, I think that the project, even it had a form, it was very uh, spontaneous. So yeah, so this is what uh, how how more or less uh, chaotic way of my working, but uh, organized chaos, I would say. Um. Can I ask you, uh, there is a particular uh, moment of this project that touched you more than others? Or, yeah, something you remember that touched you particularly? Yes. Actually, this this project, um, I didn't expect to be so emotional. Uh, um, when when we created the, when we were working on this, on this idea, I... I, I didn't expect it would touch me so much. Like I, I, I knew that it, yeah, there are the personal things, you know, that you meet a person and uh, you don't know the person um, at all or just a little bit, and um, the person brings you the object, uh, and immediately you start the intimate uh, conversation because the object has a lot of this emotional. A wave, you know, has this. Um, so it was that it, I, I could expect that it would bring them the, the lot of um, uh, feelings, but um, yeah, the, some of the the, the the meetings I had, they were very uh, touching. Like I think the most touching moment was for me um, the the photo of Reda. Um, it's a, it's a woman from Syria that she lives uh, that she lives for some years in in Berlin and uh, I was supposed to meet with her with her daughter as she speaks Arabic she, the daughter was supposed to help me with translation and go, when I was going on the meeting I didn't know what what the object she will share with me so she um, so on the way the, the the daughter called me and she said I'm sorry I will not be there. Uh, I cannot be there, and uh, if you would need translation, just call me. I said, okay, we will manage somehow, but just please tell me what, what kind of object your mom, she, she prepared, what she wants to share, just for me to be prepared. And the object she shared, it was a sock uh, of her son that uh, got lost in Syria. So, um, when I came there, I, I, I knew just a little bit of the context of the of the object but i i didn't know the full story and i it, i was not also able to fully to talk about this just then with time i, I could talk with the daughter and the, um yeah and the friend that told the story but it was the most uh, touching um uh, moment because uh, we tried to communicate with my five words in German that I know and uh, had 20 words in German and uh, we spent a wonderful time of having coffee I had to eat all the fruits that she gave me it was like super cute 
And um, after taking photos of her, she visited her as uh, she visited us during the open studio we had in, uh, um, in Urban Nation residency where we work. Um, and she came then to Spandau to when we were painting the mural, which was super touching because it was like for for me and for her it was like really far away, you know, to take this journey to to visit and it was a horrible weather. And on top of that. Another day, like a few days after, we are uh, because of Corona, we had a you know, open studio for some days. We couldn't collect other people in the same time. Uh, she calls me and she says, I'm, I'm downstairs, I'm downstairs. Like, this is what I understood from uh, German. <laughs> and, uh, and I go down and she came with the, with the huge bag of Syrian vegan food that she cooked for us. Which is just from out of nowhere. She just brought the like of food, and like, she she was super happy to participate in the uh, in our project and to share the story. And uh, yeah, that the sock because the sock we also printed on the on the mural that it was important for us. And, uh, so yeah, so this was just one of the stories that I could talk. About, but this was the one of the most touching that, um, moments moments for me in this project definitely. Yeah, that's nice that you are sharing uh, with us that and um, I want to ask you a last question because then our time will go to finish of this 15 mm -hmm. yeah for sure uh, we will have other uh, appointment I hope that we can share different stories and uh, are you now uh, in Poland or uh, still in Germany? I'm in Poland, but on Friday I'm coming back to Berlin. Like coming back, like uh, we we are going to move uh, to Berlin. Okay. Because I was living there for a bit, and then was a break. And, uh, that's that's nice. So uh, we will have also probably uh, a way to get in touch uh, in person and uh, yeah, to have a coffee. And uh, that would be awesome. And um, what do you think uh, um, actually? is missed uh, in uh, the photography experience what what do you mean what uh, yeah, i didn't yeah, in the world in the world of photography that you think what is the actually for I, I i i miss a little bit like a, um, i think sensibility and getting out from the instagram uh, uh, instagram narration i see uh, a lot of things um, uh, really think maybe it's a good to, to practice and repeat some of some frames some captures but uh, I, I feel more uh, I, I miss some uh, um, social touch and um, and not to uh, and and I miss that you take a photo not thinking about the tool where it's exposed because I see that a lot of photos are taken to fit the narration, for example, of Instagram or internet. I miss uh, this more rough, out-of-box um, approach to the photography. Yeah, if I you know what I mean. I totally understand. I mean, uh, I'm a photographer. Uh, as an editor and photographer, I always work most of the time with the intuition and uh, impulse, uh, uh, self-conscious. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't think a lot about I mean, Many people ask me what I think during I take a picture, but I don't think usually I just approach to what I have in front of me. It's just mm -hmm. a matter of uh, empathy and uh, empathy, you know. It's uh, just uh, the moment yeah. I have in front of me and uh, I learned uh, that uh, uh, when I started to to understand that uh, the the world was there in front of me, and uh, I didn't have to think about how to compose or how to shoot the picture, mm -hmm. lens use, blah blah blah. That's what I I advise you most of I advise now most of the time. So everyone is just to, yeah, you can shoot with everything. You can take just a toy camera, take your phone, shoot. I mean, it's just uh, a moment. And uh, yeah, sometimes in the lesson I do it uh, as a teacher, um, and yeah, um, I teach uh, this course uh, from Berlin Explorer 
is uh, mm-hmm. called, called inside that um, is a long uh, course is a master class and uh, has no limit of the time so what i wanted to do it was uh, like uh, a open class uh, it's always open to every for everyone and uh, has no time uh, uh, deadline because some people need 10 years and some people need five months depends what is your level of experience in your life what you really touched or you didn't touch and uh, there is a, always something to explore and mm-hmm. example uh, usually i do it is like yeah, it's like when he's shooting pictures is like this is funny uh it's like mm-hmm. when you have to shoot it's like when you mm-hmm. have, you can grab exactly. you can think about where to shoot but in the end if you have really to shoot probably <laughs> your trouser and this is the point you can uh, you can hold uh, but uh, it's like to when you want to kiss someone if you don't kiss yeah maybe probably you can have a second occasion but how many times that happened in your life i mean how many times mm-hmm. we, we have a second uh, chance to doing something so it's it's uh, as not to be an action of thinking yeah there is photography uh, um, where you think about what you have to compose and in which way. Yes. But most of the time, also this is uh, really a process of experience. And uh, most of the time, these experience come from uh, many other times you didn't do it, what you wanted to do it. And then uh, uh, you start to understand in which position you have to put yourself. So mm-hmm. thank you a lot for uh, this small conversation. I hope to thank you so much. I say it. And I really like the shit uh, comparison. Many other little conversation with you that we can enjoy together. And yeah, for sure, I hope to, to see you in Berlin. And uh, if uh, someone wants to watch the picture of Yagoda, uh, can go on Instagram and uh, uh, searching Yahoda. And anyway, I will put link inside of. Um, the podcast so that you can see also the mods project and on instagram is umods so thank you a lot and uh, thank you. you have a great day thank you so much thank you for everything and see you in berlin thanks for listening to our podcast learn more about our project at allmylinks.com slash berlin explorer or visit our Instagram and follow Berlin Explorer Project.